hello guys today i'm going to show you how you could solve the rubik's cube using the roo method now it is pronounced as roo but is written as r o u x but before learning the u i would suggest you to learn the beginner's method first so first of all we will scramble the rubik's cube before that you have to learn this easy method right if you don't know this easy method then then you don't need to learn it but you need to learn an important thing in it called bad edge or good edge now this will not take you time to study so i will just tell you a quick recap on how we are going to do good and bad edges on the roo method not in this easy in the roo method now in the roo method after some steps we will get a bad edge and good edge all right it will be varying in sizes from your rubik's cubes and it will not be the perfect as mine mine will also differ many times but i will tell you how to tell the difference between a good edge and a bad edge so let me scramble this rubik's cube first so right now you can see that i have scrambled the rubik's cube now how to tell whether an edge is a good or a bad edge now it is really simple and you don't need to have to memorize this you might have to memorize this but it is a really simple topic just two or three things you need to learn for this then we will move on to solving the pieces and doing the roo method so you need to learn the good edge and bad edge right so any the any edge with yellow on the top or white on the top is a good edge all right just understand it that way for the roo method any edge that is above that is on the white face or the yellow face is a good edge all right if there comes white and here comes yellow you could say it is a good edge all right and whenever an edge piece of the color yellow or white comes in the top that is either on each side of the cube it is called a good edge now you might have seen this we have a yellow right here right so we are going we have three bad edges why they're having no white or yellow Just right so we are going to consider as three bad edges all right and when we come to this side also we have one good edge and three bad edges so i'm going to scramble it a bit more to show you another example of a good edge and a bad edge you will also learn this in the zz method that is the most common advantage of the zz method that you could learn this and it will be useful for cfop and also this rule all right you need to learn that zz method to perform the roo i would not prescribe you to learn the zz method before learning the roo but many people have said it is good so let us move back so we have the white center face up pointing towards us and you will see that we have a green blue orange and blue so neither of them is white or yellow so we could consider this as four bad edges all right we have situations in the row cases so we will move on to it and let's look at the bottom so there is one good edge see one good edge right here because it is in the yellow face and it is white it might be yellow also but it is okay so it will be the yellow and white so it will be good edge but these three are bad edges all right we will consider as that so 
moving on to the room method the room method was a classical not a so classical but in modern way not so modern but a really good method used by many people and the fastest of them is a person named named Sean Patrick all right he did it in less than 7 seconds and all his average is 6.66 or something 6. Point something but let us go on and learn the room method so to for doing the room method i am going to prescribe you to hold your cube with the white face on the bottom all right and the yellow uh, sorry orange face facing you and you would get a really nice view all right that's what i have prescribed to do and what that's what i do and then i'm going to show you how to do it so first of all i would recommend you to learn the beginners method and then learn cfop and that zizi uh, methods one and then you could solve it solve the rule which is a really nice method when it comes to positioning but a lot of people think this is complicated but i will break it down into steps and it, i assure you it is not complicated and i use it every day so first of all let us look at the orange face so we don't need to look about the orange face we had to build a 2 by 3 rectangle over here and another 2 by 3 rectangle over here all right so we must have matching corners and all but it should be really necessary to make that so what are we going to do we are going to do we are going to place this corner to here right this is right corner at at swapping method sorry a uh, corner swapping method and there we go we have this now i would recommend you to do both of these but to get a faster one you need to know this all right you need to build them both together all right in advanced f2l you can learn it but i don't use f2l and use the beginners method to solve this so i'm going to place it right here so i got it and then we going to solve this one this one is already in position it just need to be twisted so we are going to do the corner swapping method and there we go and we are going to look for the edge piece now if the edge piece is in the, in the top do not worry all right we got over here right now the most efficient advantage of this row method is that we could turn the middle piece the m piece as many times as we want all right it is no problem all right we have this in the top okay so if you want you could place it back but i don't think that is really faster and we're going to do the placement method and there we go now we need this too right to make a 2 by 3 now i will tell you certain conditions of it you will get it over here or here or wherever you could turn it and just place it all right on the top but now raises a problem how could you place it we cannot place it by using the edge piece method now if the white face is facing you then do u m prime u prime and m 
right so we got this layer solved but most of the beginners should learn it this in a different way which i'm going to show you on this right this is what the beginners should learn so we got our edge over here yes we got it and where is that edge yes it's right over here and we could just do that nothing will happen to this face and there we go we inserted it but in the beginner's case it is not like that all right let me warn you if you are a beginner do this all right you must find the green and white edges and you must swap them into place first all right but i don't do that because i think it is really time consuming like five seconds or so so i don't really do that so i put this in and this automatically solved okay we did that and then i put this corner in and this edge piece into you could also use f12 but don't solve these two all right these two are solved methods so now you have a case all right which is called the cmll all right i am going to post it in the description box below how to do all of these but for now i am going to look at my situation and do so if your situation is like this right the corner piece is like this and the edge piece is like this place it like this so that and corner piece should face you the left top corner face with the yellow should face you while this is in the top right all right and we are going to use this algorithm okay so place it like this and use this algorithm r sorry r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime and you will see that all of your corners are y yellow face on the top now what i'm going to do is to look cmll so i have i will post it in the description box as i said earlier but during this case i'm doing this so i'm not getting any of the headlight all right what we call as headlight is yes this is matching right these three are matching so if we get a same color on the second corner we will call it as two headlights this is one headlight only so we have zero headlights right when we look we have zero headlights now what to do use when you have zero headlights all right if you have zero headlights then then just do this all right do wiper so we can do it in any angle and do f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime and you will see that all of our corners are permuted all of them are in correct position now let me show you case number 2 so okay now the case number 2 is that you have one solved headlight all right two corner pieces are in the same position we call them as headlights not all right so you could write this or whatever you want to do you could do but play close pay close attention to this so in this case if you have a solved two headlights then put it to the left all right to your left 
so suppose it is like this it is in the right you put it in the left if it is in the front you put it in the left and if it is in the back you put it in the left if it is in the left then we left so it doesn't need to match all of them all of that colors doesn't need to match all right so after this we need to place it to the left and do t perm all right we call it as t perm which is r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime and f prime so we got all of our edges permuted sorry corners permuted and we will we might to do one or two flips on the top now after this you need to get to this all right you need to have a white or yellow edge on the top and you need to have three bad edges i will also post it in the description link below or i will show it to you in the middle of the video you can do it so in my case i'm going to call this the i or h case so most people use the word h so i'm going to use the word h all right but don't be so if you have a situation where you have two bad edges and two good edges you must place it like an i shape all right with the two bad edges on the sides left and right and then you have to do this algorithm right which i think is not familiar with but this is the algorithm m u prime and m so in a situation you might get it same again so we might want to do it again all right m u prime and m so let's do it again m u prime m so you could see we are getting this now we have to do once more or twice more or right. that all right we got this right we got our permuted so after that what you need to do is look at the bottom all right you need to look at the bottom layer all right so if your edge is out of place over here just place it back all right just place it back mostly nothing's going to happen but sometimes something will happen it is really okay okay nothing has happened so we can continue because we have one good edge three bad edges like we want now what we need to do we need to take the bottom and look at the good and bad edges so you must have one good edge and one bad edge right this is good edge because the yellow face is on the top or the white face you we have the yellow here so it is a good edge all right so we have it here we have the good edge and the rest there is a bad edge so what we need to do is put the good edge all right away from it okay you got me away from it so we need to have this v tip over here because our bad edge is over here so we need to do this and do this algorithm m u prime m prime all right so after doing this you might get something like this all right now let me show you another situation this is our situation right here and i'm going to show you another situation situation number 2 and the final situation on this face 
is that your good edge is pointing towards you and the bad edge is pointing away so we will not use that algorithm all right we will not use that algorithm we first learned in case we will use this algorithm first of all you need to turn it two times so that it comes over here and do this algorithm m u prime Now you might get one salt piece over here and exactly over here. So we will do that again. Our I told you an algorithm before that is M prime, U prime, and M. Alright. So we got it. We got what we want. And now we will place the end corners to its original position. If you don't have the corners in the original position at the first, it does not matter. But you need to put it to the original position now. Now, if you notice, if you notice, you will see that all of the edges are good edges, right? We have yellow, yellow, yellow and white. We have yellow, white, white, white. Okay, so we have it. And now what we need to do? This is a question. So, first of all, you should have two edges, alright? Every Rubik's Cube has two edges, which is the yellow and blue and yellow and green. So, let me tell you first what will happen if I put them into place. So, I have a situation right here. So, my yellow green and yellow blue are on the top so what i do is that i shift this green piece into the bottom by using m2 or m prime 2 i prefer m prime 2 and then when it reaches the bottom it is on the back of you all right when you use m2 or m prime 2 it is in the back of you you need to put this into your face, alright, in front of you and do M prime U2 and we are going to pick this a little bit strategically and M, right, in this case we need M so that both of them are aligned, see, a line, a yellow line. Now we have blue on the front, right. We should, uh, we sh there is no should, you sh could have a green or you could have a blue. So if you have a blue on the front, then turn this, these uh, corners, right, they are in here or here, here, turn this to the back side, alright, and do M prime 2 or M2 right so the those are your cases all right and we are going if you don't if you want to have a green you could do the same thing the green on the back and m prime 2 or m2 whatever you prefer i prefer m prime 2 because it is really easy and Put the corners into the correct position and you will get a case. So the most common and important case you need to learn is the three cycle of edges. Now the three cycle of edges might appear like this. Right, two are matching. One is like this and one is like this. So we are going to place them to the correct centers. Alright, and you will get something like this. Okay. Every corner has it. Sorry, edge piece has it. Now we are going to find the wrongest edge. The most misplaced edge. I mean, in this edge, one color is connecting. So it is a, okay, fine edge. Right, fine edge, not an okay edge. But not the best edge. Right, an okay edge. This is an okay edge. But this is not. This is not an okay edge because... It is not connected to either of them 
so we are going to use this algorithm to change it all right what is that algorithm here it is so we are going to put this to the top using m prime and do u2 m prime u2 and m prime or m2 m prime or m m prime 2 or m2 whatever it is and your cube is solved now the second case i will set up the second case uh, i'm going to set it up all right now this is our second case what is our case the second case in this case we have an h like situation which means we have an adjacent swap see this is the um yellow of um, white and this is the red of white so these need to be two need to be swapped and these two need to be swapped all right so in this case in this case we are going to do first of all we are going to swap these all right so do u2 m prime 2 u2 and m prime 2 so you get it like this don't do m because if you do m it will be totally wrong all right so do only m prime in this situation so now i'm going to set up the third and last case all right so let me set it up now the third and last case you will have something like this which means all of the center pieces are not right every color is opposite to their original color right but these two are solved these might two might be and these two might be solved whatever but our opinion is like this all right but you needn't get the same case you might get these both swap, these both swap, and these two solved. These two swapped, these two swapped, and these two swapped. So don't worry. And if you get a situation like this, you can do this. You should align it to their matching core center pieces and do this. U2 and prime 2, U2. All right and you will get something like this okay now we are going to do that h like case that adjacent swap case and automatically it will swap these edges the corners sorry center pieces too so the h like case meaning u2 m2 sorry m prime 2 um i'm going to show it to you again Hold it like this, not like this, hold it like this, and U2 M prime 2, U2 M prime 2. Right? So if it doesn't work, right? That is if it doesn't work. You're going to do this right first of all you're going to do the adjacent swap so what i showed to you earlier don't do it do this okay we will get an h like case as before while permuting the center pieces always permute the center pieces all right take my advice always permute the center pieces or we will end up like before and do u2 m prime 2 u2 m prime 2 and we will have a solve now another method you could use to solving this is this m e2 m prime and e2 i prefer this method but most of the videos don't support this method because they said 
it is not very handy but i support this move all right so you must have an m hand and a u hand too so m hand is for turning this and u hand for turning this all right so that's it for today's videos hope you liked it and one more piece of advice before i uh, sign out if you don't get a good, three good edges which mean this these two are solved but you still don't get any uh, one bad edge then do the same as in here all right these two swap because i have encountered it many times and i tried using this method which i made by my own and it worked all right do these two just like the these two that is if that situation arises don't do if that situation doesn't arise so this is my cube the cube lilo drift warrior 3 by 3 and i suggest this is the best cubing equipment for beginners because it swaps really nicely it's available on amazon and cube lilo straw it is a really handy and easy rubik's cube so i hope you guys like this video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications and bell buttons for further notifications thank you